What's going on guys? Travel Power Rangers fan here, coming at you with a room tour update for 2022. That's right, let's get into this display and let you guys see what I got going this year. As always, let's start off this year with just a quick once over on what we're about to see. 2021 was filled with a lot of getting new things, and I'm super pumped to get showing you. Right off the bat, we got the box for the Megazord shoes from Reebok. Great addition. Top on in. We got our metallic from the Legacy line. A couple SNES games. My Morpher for cosplay. The Tiger Electronics. The custom Traveling Power Rangers fan Morpher coin from my guy over on Etsy, link in the description below, check it out. A little bit of a mixed shelf here, we got some of my little Lego guys, as you know I love Lego now, Legacy Communicator, Legacy and Lightning Collection Dragon Daggers, Legacy Blade Blaster looking great. Moving on, we got my little Tommy shelf from the Legacy line, the original 90s. Uh, Saba back there. Here are my little triangle box guys. Looking awesome with the coasters in front. Um, Toys R Us exclusives, gotta love them. There's me with uh, Rocky. Couple random things. This, of course, is that book that I have all the Rangers sign. Drop a comment below if I should do a video exclusively on that book. Here we got the 20th anniversary board games that were released, a couple random things, looking awesome. Moving into the little skinny billy shelf, another look at those shoes, here we got the Legacy MMPR figures, Legacy Zeo figures, Legacy in space. Drop a comment, what is your favorite Legacy figure that was released? Here we got the Funkos, original core team of course, Tommy and the Alphas looking awesome, followed by Drak and Goldar, Budgie Pig, Rita, and Zed. Alright, moving in, Lightning Collection, 2-pack is awesome. Got the boxes of the other figures there, just to fill some shelf space. Then we move into the Lightning Collection, Lord Draken, Fighting Spirit Green, of course, Ranger Slayer, then that Evo 3 sitting on his throne. Moving down, we got our six Tangas, because Billy went a little crazy on Tangas. And that is where I chose to put my Metallics, and a little like fight scene type thing. That'll probably change uh, to the Ninjetis whenever those finally come out. Here we got our MMPR shelf, just the standard figures with Ninjor back there, that's the Retro Morphin one. Here we got our Lightning Collection bad guys, some putties, Pudgy Pig, Pumpkin Wrapper, Lord Zed and Rita, Scorpina. Here we got that other Lord Zed, I am just waiting to use him with the helmet when it releases. My custom Saba that I based my tattoo off of. And a couple other random things. Bottom shelf, also some more random stuff. Let's get into my morphers. Here we got the uh, Books A Million Exclusive Pins. White Morpher. Blue Morpher, of course. And we got our pink. Red. What I'm using for yellow. The Lightning Collection is what I chose to use for black. There's my Green Ranger one. And of course, I made a Master Morpher. Got some DVDs there as well. Moving on to the much larger section of the display. Starting up top with some Zeo Swords. Uh, this one was a gift from Lord Kratos. Check him out. Links in the description. Uh, along with some 90s. Goodness, this is that re-release from Hasbro. 
Now we get into the Zeo Lightning Collection shelf. Uh, Zeo Blue I've got custom Tomfas for. Uh, just missing one right now. And six cogs, of course. Moving down, we got a little like battle of psychos versus in space. Can't wait to get in space pink and finish this up. Let's make that happen 2022. Here we got our little start of what will be Ninja Storm once we finally get that in the Lightning Collection. Here, of course, we got our three or four SPD A squads with all of the SPD figures I have so far. In the background, I got some of the older stuff. Now, we got my SPD Green with Shield, the SPD Jeep, some Beast Morphers action going. Now we got the Dino Thunder Shelf. Zord, sent to me by uh, the Peaky Arrow for my birthday. Shout out to him for that, of course. Alright, now we got another Thin Shelf. Here we get the Q-Rex Zord. If you haven't seen my short on that, it works. It is awesome. Here we got the one Time Force figure that has been released. Uh, Lunar Wolf with the phone getting ready to uh, look great once that figure is released. We got a Jason Font signed Morpher. The start of a Lost Galaxy shelf. Hopefully in 2022 that shelf has to get bigger. Here we got my voice man. And another Funko. Another picture of me with Nikia Barres and uh, Steve Carninas and Catherine Sutherland. Here we got some Ryu Soldier keys. They are pretty great. Um, have a lot of them. Uh, that'll we'll see that more here in a moment. And some Funkos from the 2017 movie. Nobody likes that movie. Up here we got Tor. Got the Legacy Zeo sword in the background there. And, of course, Serpentera. Here I got Ninjor with uh, the Retromorphin Ninjor in the background. Here's my 90s Tiger Zord. These guys are just here to fill shelf space. Um, I have a 90s Ninja Zord and Falcon Zord over with Shadow Wiz right now. He is repainting and restickering those for me to look awesome. Here is not the Legacy Megazord, but like the 2000 whatever it was. Legacy Dragon Zord. Here's the uh, red uh, Tyrannosaurus, a little Tyrannosaurus. Got yell in the background. Here's that crappy Hasbro release that nobody likes. Moving down, we got the Legacy. Thunder Zord, Legacy Tiger Zord, Legacy Falcon Zord, and Ninja Zord. Now we move into, typically, I only collect up to SPD. Because as a kid, that's where I stopped watching Power Rangers. But Dino Fury struck some likeness in me. So I actually dove into Ryu Soldier stuff. So here's some Ryu Soldier Zords and the basic figures for Dino Fury. Got a couple of the swords. I got the Japanese Morpher and the American, along with the Japanese sword, and the American sword is back there. Then here's some other swords. that are looking pretty awesome. Pretty happy about these. Now, get into the helmet collection after we look at that 2017 Zord that is amazing we got Pyramidus here sent over by Shadow Wiz now we got my helmets of course Legacy Green Lightning Collection White here's my Lord Draken helmet got this from Anarchy here is my Dino Thunder Black I think it's from Taller Ozzo, but I'm not sure. Here is my Lightning Collection Red Helmet with the Legacy Collection Shielded Ranger and that little guy. And of course, we got the Pink Ranger Helmet. Here's the 
here is one of my favorite little bits. It's the Mega Center. Not Mega Center. <laughs> Command Center. Wow. Power Dome. Looking great. Got some bits in here from Mark Spark and a few other people. Love it. I need to test out if this voice thing works. Really, really do. Then, last little bit. World's smallest action figures. And Legacy Lord Dragon. Do a little once over. Drop a comment. Let me know. What is your favorite thing in this display? And what do you think I should try to get in 2022? Let me know, guys. Make sure you're subbed to this channel for more great content coming in 2022. I got some YouTube specific goals that I want to try to do. We will see if it works out. Overall though guys, thanks for spending by this video. We'll see you in the next one. Happy New Year 2022. Let's do this.